Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am custom painting these shoes with my Posca pens. Now I have actually custom painted shoes before in a previous video. However, I used fabric paint at the time and I'm really curious to see how the Posca pens will go. But to be completely honest, beginning this, I had no idea what I wanted to draw. I just couldn't decide on a subject matter. I thought to myself, mm, maybe Pokemon, but maybe not. And then I thought maybe Spider-Man, but then I was just like, mm, I'm not really feeling it. I'm not really feeling drawing anything specific, but I still want to draw. But then it kind of dawned on me. I didn't want to draw anything specific. I just wanted to draw. So why don't I just do something abstract and fun and interesting? So I went in with my Posca pens and I just started adding uh, big bands of color onto the illustration. Now I sort of added them in a sort of swirly fashion as if maybe they were like ribbons or streamers or something like that. But I didn't do anything concrete. I just kind of went in straight away with the pens and just drew shapes and sort of blended them and added, added like shading and just color. I just wanted to play with the colors of this without, without having to actually worry too much about, you know, screwing up details or anything like that. I decided I wanted to experiment with shapes and colors and seeing if I can, you know, take a specific color and make that into a certain feeling and then have a different color with a completely different look to it, like say a pointy purple star or a cyan, you know, swirly shape or maybe a, an orange and cream sort of uh, slime kind of shape. After this, I decided to go in with some sharp, straight triangle shapes. And I used red for that because I felt like it was really nice and bold. And after that, I felt like it just needed a little bit more in the triangle uh, area. <laughs> so I added in a little bit of blue triangles too. Now this is where I realized that it started to look a little bit like the Pokemon Togetic because Togetic actually has that same pattern. But later on in the video, I actually did something to change that a little bit. Now with the color palette of these shoes, I felt like I wanted to keep it mostly warm colors with a tiny little, little sort of hint of coolish colors in there, namely the dark blue triangles. But I really wanted the feeling of these to encapsulate like happy sort of feelings. <laughs> I just wanted these shoes to have a sort of explosion of color that makes you happy. That kind of sounds weird, <laughs> but that's just what I was trying to aim for. Now with these shoes, I really didn't want to worry too much about getting each shoe identical. I felt like that was, you know, contrary to what I was trying to do with the creative explosion. And um, yeah, so I just decided to have uh, each shoe roughly similar in pattern, except of course different as well, like the, uh, the sort of cyan swirly colors were a slightly different position and I had the same elements in both shoes, but I felt like I just wanted to, uh, I don't know, add a little bit of playfulness to these. So they're not completely identical. They're, they're more like uh, brothers instead of twins, but I actually really like that. And I think the color and the patterns work pretty well. Now for the blending of each sort of shape, 
I normally don't like to blend with my Posca pens too much. I really prefer the bold uh, like block colors that you can get with these. But I felt like with this style, I wanted to have a little bit of um, shading here and there. And a few of these colors are actually really good to shade with. And normally I am pretty unsuccessful in shading with these Posca pens. But with this sort of fabric material, it really likes to sort of absorb that ink that comes out of the Posca pens. So it is actually quite easy to blend, especially with my fingers. I felt like if I used my fingers to smudge that paint around a little bit, it really did help uh, blending these while still allowing for a little bit of texture in there for interest. But that also comes at a bit of a downside. I felt like with some of the areas, I didn't want them to blend. However, because uh, the ink likes to spread a little bit into other areas that are also wet, um, some areas did sort of blend together that I didn't want to blend together, like this star here. As you can see in the previous star that I drew on the other shoe, uh, the um, dark purple sort of blended a little bit into the light purple and I had to go back into that later to uh, fix it up a little bit. See, so you can see it happening here as well. But overall that wasn't too bad because with these Posca pens they are very opaque. So even if I make a little mistake here, I can just go right back over and sort of cover that up, which is really good because uh, you can't really do that with uh, stuff like Copic markers. It is a little bit more difficult. So now that I had pretty much covered uh, these whole shoes in patterns and swirly colors and stuff like that, I felt like it looked pretty nice. However, it just missed just a little bit of something. And that's something I realized was contrast. I wanted these shoes to be very uh, like standouty, if that if that even is a word. So I actually decided to go in with the background and color it in completely black. Now you're probably thinking, I probably could have used black shoes for these uh, to save a little bit of time, but I'm actually glad I used white shoes anyways, because even if an, a medium is extremely opaque, you're still going to slightly see undertones a little bit in uh, whatever you're painting on, which is great because you can use colored primers and stuff like that to add a feeling into your painting. But I'm really glad that the shoe was actually white because it kept the colors really bright and vibrant. Now I'm actually pretty fortunate in that I do have a bunch of different sized black Posca pens uh, for me to use. I actually have a really fine one which was really great for going in the corners and just the edges of crisp outlines that I wanted to keep crisp. And I also had a sort of medium, I think it is, I'm going to look here. It is PC 5M uh, size Posca pen and this is great for filling in general areas here and there but I also have a pretty chunky one as well. And I love this one because it is a very thick Posca pen. It is a thick boy. And uh, it is really great for filling in larger areas that I need to fill in that would probably take a little bit longer with the other pens. Now, unfortunately, uh, my really fine black Posca pen likes to clog up occasionally. So eventually I wasn't able to use it for the rest of the um, shoes because it just stopped working. But it usually does that here and there. And if I wait a little bit, it'll work again. So yeah, that was unfortunate. But I just went in with my other one and I just sort of worked pretty carefully. And I think it worked out in the end. So after adding in that black background, you can see that these colors are really vibrant and colorful and they just jump out at you. And this is what I really wanted to get, but I felt like if I just added a tiny bit of white here and there for some crisp little highlights, it would just solidify the style a little bit more and just, 
I don't know, make it just a little bit more intense because we're trying to go over the top here. And I think it worked out pretty good. I actually really like how those crisp white highlights work on the purple stars. After this, I felt like I just wanted to add in another color, a bit of green, and also just another sort of texture. I wanted some thin uh, stripes sort of diagonally on some areas of the shoes. And I felt like this green thin Posca pen would work pretty well. Now it didn't work amazingly. It did sort of sputter here and there. So I had to go in and fix it up with a, um, a black Posca pen, but that was all right. As you can see, I'm using a makeshift ruler, a strip of paper here, which was actually pretty good because I could sort of bend it to the shape of the shoe. And I totally didn't use it because I couldn't find any of my rulers. <laughs> So here is the final results for this and I just absolutely love the colors and the designs and I just feel like it gives a really cool vibe without actually drawing anything specific, without any sort of, you know, real subject matter. I felt like this abstract sort of pattern worked really well for these shoes and I just really love the way they came out. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big like because that tells me that you want me to uh, make more of these kinds of videos. And if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button because it helps me so much. And I hope you all have a lovely day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone.